Hi. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to eat a pomegranate. So, I really like pomegranates and um, I I like to call them space corn. I like, I like to imagine that they are from space and brought to us from extraterrestrial beings and that in space they are corn and um, perhaps that is why it is so challenging to eat them as earthly beings because they're really space corn. So what you need for this tutorial is a pomegranate and a cutting board and a, a knife or something to cut the pomegranate with. Now, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, so I believe my pomegranate has gone bad, but so, you know, if, if you, you should probably use a fresh pomegranate, but for the sake of this video, it should be okay. So first, you're going to cut into the pomegranate. Mine's a little bit hard to cut through because it's a few weeks old now. I've been meaning to make this video. In. So you want to try to cut it uh, through the center. I I sort of miss the center, and as, as you can see, there's already um, some juice coming out, and that's that's going to happen. Um, so then you, you open it up and it, it should look like this. It's really rather beautiful. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really beautiful. and it, it does look like space corn, I think. Um, so, so now you're, as you have it open, you can split it apart or leave it together as like a, a mouth and you can, you know, hey, I'm space corn from outer space. You know, you can tell jokes. It's always fun. Um, as you can see, it's it's uh, dripping more juice, and um, there's juice on the knife. So then, what you do is you take. Oh. Um. Also, you need a bowl. I I forgot the bowl, for the seeds. So, uh, it's hard to get the bowl in the shot, but um, just use your imagination. The bowl is to my right. Um, oh, and I've already, um, looks like there's a little bit more pomegranate juice on the table, and don't worry about this, it's, um, it's normal to, uh, to get pomegranate juice on your things, um, it's, uh, it's part of the, it's, it's the price you pay for eating space corn, for having such a delicious snack. So now, you can take the pomegranate and... I I like to just kind of open it like this and um, pe peel it open. It, it requires a little bit of strength, but it, it's not too bad. Um, pretty much anyone anyone can do it um, if you have hands that that are you know working. Um, if you don't, then perhaps you have a friend or caretaker who can help you. Um, also, you know, there Trader Joe's sells uh, pomegranates already. Um, pre pre uh, opened and and um, just the seeds, but um, it's a lot of packaging and and um, I don't know. I, I like to work. I like to work for things. Um, it makes it sweeter, you know, to to know that you worked for it. So um, I'm I'm just peeling peeling it off of the uh, the shell, the the space corn shell, the pomegranate shell. And now I have like a little, I don't know what you'd call this, it's like a little pod, a space corn pod, space, <laughs> a space corn pod. And now I'm going to just take my bowl and um, just kind of drop them in. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to eat this pomegranate because it, like I said, it's uh, several weeks old. Um, it's a little brown, um, but it's, so, yeah, so you just kind of, you just get them 
peel them off. I mean, I'll just let that. And it's a, you know, it's 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 a really. It takes a while to 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 get the seeds off, so you know, it's it's not really the kind of snack that you want to have. Uh, you know, if you've got somewhere to be, if you you know, if you're if you have a plans with your friends or, or you know you got to get to work or something and you want to you want some fruit um pro, pro you know it's probably not the the best fruit to choose you know if you're a gal on the go but you know if you if you got some time if you've you know got a night in you, you know called your friends and said hey you know i can't come out tonight i want to stay in and you know watch a movie or read a book um, and the pomegranate's a really nice choice. So I'm just again peeling, peeling, peeling the seeds off. Um, as you can see, it's on my hands, and you know, it's it's gonna happen. It's a it's a hazard. It's a it's a it's something that that happens. So you know, if you're if you're worried about making a mess, you know, you're going to you're probably gonna make a mess. But you can you can always. Uh, you know, wear a smock or, you know, wear something that's pomegranate colored so it would bl blend in if you, um, if you decide that you just want to go for it. And, you know, I, I try not to worry about stains because I, I think it shows that I'm, you know, living, living my life and doing, you know, eating exotic fruits, exotic space fruit, space corn. So as you can see, I'm still just, you know, peeling, peeling it away, and it looks like I've got some of the, um, I don't know if it's called pulp or what, but this this white matter from from the pomegranate, and um, it's it's really rather bitter. If you're if you if you like sour bitter things like sauerkraut or, you know, orange peels or citrus, any any sort of citrus peel really, um, then it's all right to eat, but if, if not, then you can go ahead and uh, pick them, just pick it out, and um, it, it kind of sticks to your hands a, a little bit, because, uh, you know, your hands are wet with pomegranate juice, and it's okay, but see, as you, as you can see, I'm, you know, making a lot of progress, and you know, I've made a little bit of a mess, but, you know, it's, I, I'm living, I'm really, you know, I'm doing exciting things, so, you know, a little mess is okay. So, yeah, so I, I like to get every seed because, you know, pomegranates are, you know, they can be kind of expensive and, you know, and I, I really think, you know, it should, it should use all, all of it if you can, if you don't want to miss one, um, especially because this, the seeds are so small, so, you know, one, one seed, it's, it's hard to even register that you're eating anything, so, so I've gotten through about... I don't know, a, a quarter of the way. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna, oops, I'm gonna continue to just peel it. And, uh, you know, I, I've heard some people have uh, taken the pomegranate and put it under water. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this does, but, you know, it's a, it's a suggestion. I'm sure there are other videos. You could put it in a a strainer, um, like a, a colander, I believe is the culinary term, but I, I, I'm not really too clear on the jargon. So, and, and if, if you don't have a, a strainer, you can just, uh, you can just use a bowl and you know anything that has tiny holes in it like you know, a cheese grater you could you could take a, a cheese grater and sort of lay it on top of your bowl um, maybe a couple cheese graters and lay them on top of the bowl and, and tape them tape them to the bowl that noise is the train going by like near the train oops I run away pomegranate seed so I'll put that back in the bowl so yeah, sometimes you'll get runaway, uh, runaway seeds. So I, yeah, I, I typically. So so if you if you don't have a strainer, you can you can tape, you can you can get some duct tape and 
take some uh, cheese graters, or, or just use your hands and, and kind of hold hold the cheese grater on top of the bowl, and then you know put it in the sink, and then put your pomegranate on top, and sort of you can run water on it. I'm I'm not exactly clear as to whether or not you open the pomegranate and then run the water on, or if you just sort of wet it in its shell before you um, before you open it and, and follow these steps. So I, as you know, you, you might get a little impatient, so sometimes I just peel the whole thing into there and then pick out the white part later um, because, you know, now my mouth is sort of watering, so I just kind of, you know, take the, you know, you can just take the whole, you know, the whole thing and just sort of, you know, just sort of like just scrape it in even and you know it's another runaway another runaway C right there um, you know you can just just kind of and then you know they're getting they're getting on the floor and they're kind of you know you can just kind of smush them down um, you know even just kind of peel it off and just plop it in there. Of course, now I have to go back through and um, get the the white matter out. But you know, that's it's kind of a fun little. It's, a, it's like a treasure hunt almost. It's uh, it's really you know really kind of exciting. It's you know, and you, you want to make you want to make the whole experience fun. And another thing to do if you're if you're not um, able to find a, a strainer or a colander and you don't, you know, maybe you're vegan and you don't have cheese or, you know, you don't, you know, vegan cheese is expensive. So perhaps, you know, you just don't really have a cheese grater. You can use pantyhose. You can take pantyhose and just uh, sort of uh, put the pantyhose around the bowl and then put the pomegranate on top of the pantyhose, you know, the pantyhose are around the bowl, pulled taut, of course, and then, and then you can, you know, turn your, turn your water on, um, kind of hard to mime, turn your water on and, and, um, and, you know, that, that can be a strainer, so that's, that's a nice tip, um, you know, you would have to be, you know, you have to have access to pantyhose, so maybe you're a female uh, presenting human or, you know, you're female identified or perhaps you have a, a friend who is or, you know, you, you have a pair of pantyhose if you're not a female identified person. Um, you can always, uh, you know, buy a pair, but, you know, you know, go to a store, go to like a a box store and get get a pair. They, they, they run pretty cheap. Um, so I'm just picking out the the white pieces now and and uh, getting those seeds out. Those pesky little seeds. They're you know oh you're making me work for it. That's what I, I say sometimes. Like I, I you know I'll talk you know be at home and you know called my friends and said yeah okay guys I, I'm not gonna come out tonight. I'm gonna stay in and you know have a you know, be with the pomegranate and say, hey, you know, you, you make me work. You make me work so hard for your sweet juice and you're, you know, you're always making a mess of all my things. Um, you know, have a little laugh, have a little joke. You know, just be playful because, you know, when you're spending you know, 20, 30 minutes uh, trying to, you know, prepare a snack, it's, uh, you know, when you're trying to eat a piece of fruit and it takes you about 20 minutes, it's, uh, it's nice to be playful and, you know, creative and have a little fun and, you know, use your imagination. So, yeah, this this is a big one. I, I, I managed to get it out of the, the peel and now I'm just kind of, you know, you can, whoops, you can, you can go, you, know, you can just kind of flick it, flick the, flick the, the bean, as they say. Um, I don't think that's what they're talking about when they say that, but, you know. See, even uh, eating pomegranates can be can be kind of sexy. You can you can really just feel a little sexy, which is nice. You know, when you're you know when you're having a night alone, it's it's nice to feel a little you know spicy, sweet and spicy. Um, 
yeah, it's the, I, I think they say that these are the, you know, the seed of the gods and the nectar of the gods. Um, this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, oh, that was good. So you can peel, you can take the, the chunk and peel it off and then just, you know, make the little guys off like that. Um, so, yeah, and that, that one is, so I, I really have, you know, it's, it's just too bad that this, uh, pomegranate is, is, uh, so old and, you know, this, some of the seeds are sort of brown and dry and some of them are, you know, they're a little discolored, but it's, it's just too bad because this is just really looking like, like it could have been really delicious and, you know, and all this work and it would have been nice to be able to, you know, eat it. Um, cause you know, sometimes it can feel like you're, you know, working really hard for not a lot of rewards, but you know, it's a good, it's a good lesson. It's a good, you know, lesson if you have kids, you could, you know, be like, hey, you, here's a lesson in life that sometimes like you have to work really hard and, you know, you have to stain your clothes and, you know, you have to, you know, it gets everywhere, you know, the, and, you know, sometimes life is just, you know, the, 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 the work that you have to put into it doesn't always uh, out, you know, match the, the reward that you get. You know, sometimes you just get a couple of tiny fruit seeds and sometimes, you know, you, you go through all this trouble and, you know, the pomegranate wasn't ripe, it wasn't ready and so it's really, really sour and, you know, but, uh, but that's, you know, that's how it goes. That's, that's life. It's a good lesson. You know, if you don't have kids, you could, you know, like call, call a friend who does have kids and be like, Hey, you know, can I have your kid over? I'm going to make him a snack and teach him a lesson, you know, I'm going to teach him a life lesson. And, uh, you know, and, and parents really, really like that. They like to, they like to get a break from their kids and they, and they like to just, you know, they like it when, you know, other adults, you know, want to, you know, teach their kids lessons. You know, it's, it really does take a village. Um, you know, and maybe maybe your friends with kids, they maybe they have a, a strainer you could borrow, and you know, or maybe they they know a trick, or maybe they have some tips on how to how to eat a pomegranate, and you know, maybe they maybe they really. So I, I you know, maybe maybe they they want to come too. Maybe it could be like a you know a little thing, and you know you're you're having. You know, the, the holidays are, you know, they can be a lonely time, so, you know, maybe you want to have some people over and, you know, share, do this together. So, um, I, there's still a few white pieces, um, in here, but, you know, it, it adds a little, a little kick, a, a little nice kick. So, so don't, don't worry, don't be too hard on yourself if you, uh, if there's some white pieces in there, it's, it's all right. Um. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can just, you know, take them in your hand and you can, you know, take a handful of it. And like I said, I'm not going to eat this or you can use a spoon or you can sp sprinkle them about on, you know, a salad or, you know, you could even take them now and mash them up and drink the juice. Um, so, oh, there's a few more seeds. So, yeah, so uh, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you... Uh, walked away with some oh look I missed a bunch this is that's exciting that's like that's like on uh, you know it's like when you get a package in the mail and there's you know packing peanuts and, and you you know you, you think you have all the all the treats in the package and then you look you know you, re you reach your hand in the package and, and, you, and you know in the peanuts in the packaging peanuts and then you realize that you you know there's still more good stuff so it looks like I have some more uh, seeds to get out these ones are definitely bad. You guys, you thought I wasn't gonna get you, but I did, you know. So you saw some tips coming up. So, yeah, so I can just, you know, I can just kind of gently pop them up. They're pretty, they're pretty resilient, you know. They're, you know, for a kernel, a space corn kernel, they're, you know, they've, they've survived, a, you know, a long journey, long journey here to, to uh, the Bay Area to the earth, you know, to earth, so, yeah, I, you know, I might have missed a few seeds, so I, I suggest that you go back after you've, you know, got your, most of the white matter out, and, 
And this one's got white matter peeled on it. Oh, let's move my hat. This this one has white matter sort of wrapped around it. I don't know if you can see that, but I just kind of peeled it off gently. And so you you know when you're done, you can go back through the through the peel and see if there are any stragglers, any you know no man left behind, you know not just women and children, everyone, you know every man for themselves, sort of like you know, just drop them in, you know. So yeah, and and you know it's uh it's a it's a really it's just it's really a great great fruit. I'm I'm not exactly sure about the nutritional profile, but I, I assume it's you know, it's a healthy one. I mean it's a fruit. So you know, I, I, I and it's not too sweet, so I you know, I, I think it'd be safe to say that if you, you know, have you know, limit your sugar if you if you're diabetic or just sort of watching your weight, you know, like a bowl of pomegranate kernels probably all right, you know, it's a nice treat. You could you could uh you could get really nutty and put them in the freezer. I've I've never done that, but it, you know, it just came to me. You know, it could be really nice. Like you know, similar to frozen grapes, you could just, you know, pop pop this in the freezer and you know, six hours later, like you know, cold cold little treat, or maybe even you know, warm them up. Warm warm pomegranates might be good. I know uh, boiled oranges really is uh, you know really are quite nice. I, you can you know slice up oranges and put them. They make they make a really nice smell too in your house. So you could you know have people over and you know slice up those boiled oranges before they get there. Slice and slice up the oranges and you know put them on the stove and you know everyone comes in. They're like, oh my gosh, your house smells so good. What does that smell? And you're like, oh, I'm just boiling some oranges for us. We're just gonna have some boiled oranges as a snack, you know, while we hang out. This is a nice, nice idea. So yeah, so here's the, here are the pomegranate seeds. And that, that took me about a, I would say, twenty minutes, you know, to to get them all out, and you know, and then you know, probably about, oh, here's some extra ones. Probably about you know another five minutes to clean. I I you know I kind of made a little bit of a mess. Um, I washed my hands, um, and then you know I'll put them, put these aside and clean up and. You know, put these in the compost. You know, if I had a compost, I don't right now. But um, if I did, I'd you know put them in the compost. And like, kind of, you know, like, you know, if I were, if I were the kind of person that you know garden, then you know put them in the compost and you know and like wipe up the wipe up the table and you know wash my hands and then you know dig in. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoy this video.